So today we're going to show you how you can connect a line driver IC to your Arduino and again we're just going to be using it to drive our little LED segment display as shown here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for feature updates and new videos. And there is a web page linked in the description on our website with further information about using line drivers, about why to use them, things to watch out for, and extra technical information, links to the data sheet, as well as the all important wiring diagram for the chip that we're going to use in this example, which is the ULN2803A, and that's a, a sinking line driver, so it goes on the ground side of your outputs. If you do need an external PSU for any higher power ones, it will need to be connected as shown in the diagram. And in our example, we're just running a 3 volt LED from a 3 volt power supply. So we're just using the Arduino Uno power. So here we have our very simple sketch, and this just has the pin range that we're going to use. And we just need to set the pins high when we want to turn the output on, and low when we want to turn it off. And all we're going to do is cycle through them as we did in our multiplexer video, just to show that you can use all of them independently. So if you set your board and your COM port as normal, and then just build and upload the example sketch, again linked in the description, and wire up your board, as shown in the wiring diagram, then you should successfully have your line driver chip working with your Arduino Uno, or any other board you choose, and this will work with 3 volt and 5 volt inputs, so we can see we've got our Uno, with all of our wires connected. This then comes over, this is the line driver chip with all of the inputs on one side and all of the outputs on the other. And then we've got our small LED segment display which again has all the outputs from the line driver connected to it and then a positive input to that 